Climate change has a lot to do with health, and it seems to disproportionately affect those at-risk populations, those being the elderly, the young, and those with chronic diseases, like asthma, like allergies, like COPD, chronic heart disease. Rising temperatures increases the ground level ozone. So when we think of ozone, we think of it as a good thing when it's up in the environment, but when it's at the ground level, it's a pollutant. And we know from studies that ground level ozone is going to cause inflammation in your airways. It's going to cause decreased lung function. It can actually cause asthma. We've seen correlation between high ozone levels and increased hospital admissions and emergency room visits for asthmatic patients. With the rising temperatures and the changes in the climate, we see longer pollen seasons. They're starting earlier, they're lasting longer, we're seeing more volume of pollen, and we're also seeing plants responding differently. They're now releasing different pollen particles that are more allergenic, and that we're calling them super pollens, and this is felt to be in response to climate change. Our environment is changing, our climate is warm and these things are negatively impacting our health. This problem is becoming a public health issue and one of our safety. It's the responsibility of all of us and our government to use science to inform our actions and our policy decisions. 50% clean energy by 2030 is not just about climate change, it's about our health. I'm Dr. Mona Vishen-Manga and I support 50 by 30.